it really is Natasha, isn't it? Yes. How I, how I think of her. There isn't a day when Natasha's parents don't think about the daughter they lost. But today at least they can take pride in a new law, Natasha's law, the result of their years of campaigning to protect others at risk through food allergies. It's a really important day, for, not just for us as Natasha's parents, but also for two million people who suffer from severe food allergies in the UK. This is D-Day, Deliverance Day for those people. And, um, you know, one can't actually play down how, how important that is. Natasha's law requires the clear labelling of all ingredients and allergens in food that is pre-packed for direct sale. Information that can prevent more tragedies in the allergic community. That is life-saving because people with allergies really need to rely on knowing what is going to go into their mouths. Food is poison to them and the smallest amount can put them in A&E and even worse. 15-year-old Natasha had been on holiday with best friend Bethany Holloway when she went into cardiac arrest after eating unlabeled sesame seeds in a Pret-a-Manger sandwich. Hi, Bethany. Hi. How are you? Today, Bethany, now a university student, was one of the first to call her friend's parents. What do you think Natasha would be saying about it? I think she'd be so happy, so excited that this is finally happening. Inseparable from early school days, Bethany would later watch her closest friend die. Little wonder, she says, today's tightening of food labelling rules is long overdue. If that had been in place when Natasha bought that sandwich, she wouldn't have died. So it is an incredible law that is now in place, which should have been in place a long time ago, really. But now it's just we're grateful that it's finally happened. Five years after her tragic, avoidable death, Natasha Ednan Laperouse continues to inspire family, friends and all those who've campaigned in her name. Natasha's law is her legacy. Paul Davis, ITV News.